right, where are we going, Chair Johnson? Uh, we're going to walk back here. We're off of County Road 81 where they were talking about this camp is. I want to see for myself what's going on. Been getting a lot of calls about this camp. And uh, we're unfortunate because the FBI didn't let us know what was going on out here. And uh, these people are worried. Macon County Sheriff Andre Brunson invites News 3 along as investigators explore a two-acre piece of land just minutes from downtown Tuskegee. The land is deeded to 40-year-old Siraj Wahaj. In March, Wahaj and four others were indicted for federal terrorism, firearm, and kidnapping charges after agents say 11 malnourished children and the decomposing body of Wahaj's young son were discovered at a New Mexico compound. Agents say from October 2017 to August 2018, the defendants were allegedly training to carry out attacks to kill officers, including FBI agents. Looked like they were getting ready or, or they was trying to be self-sufficient back here. Back in Macon County, Sheriff Brunson oh, says the property looks similar to the New Mexico compound. And look at the toys. Yeah, they had kids out here. They had kids out here. Near the toys, a large rain barrel sits near a fenced off garbage pile just across from a makeshift housing structure. And the top of it is made out of plastic, size made out of plastic to keep the water out. So definitely this could have been some type of living quarters or something. You know, got toys, dishes, and other things in here that uh, maybe they were living in. According to the deed, the two-acre parcel along yeah, County Road 81 was sold to Wahaj back in May of 2014. And with all these water bottles and containers, looked like they were out here a while. Court documents indicate Wahaj was in Alabama in December of 2017 when Alabama troopers worked an Interstate 65 crash involving Wahaj, another adult, and five children. The trooper noted five weapons, a bulletproof vest, and ammunition in the vehicle. Wahaj allegedly told the trooper they were going camping in New Mexico. We don't think about terrorists being not even in Alabama, uh, much less in the Tuskegee area. Tuskegee's mayor believes the FBI searched the Macon County site a few years ago and information is just servicing because of the recent indictments. I don't think any heavy training or any firearms or weapons activity was going on out there. You no know, rubber boots and shoes. They got a lot of stuff out here. Look at the kids' shoes. <laughs> yes, definitely. Sheriff Brunson says knowing remains of a boy were allegedly found on the New Mexico compound where other kids were allegedly living in squalor makes him worry that kids were living in horrific conditions right here in Macon County. Man, it breaks my heart to know that kids might have been out here doing that. And uh, we just don't know. It's, we, but we're going to find out. We'll get to the bottom of it. And I just want everybody here in Macon County to know that uh, right now there's nothing going on. You know, I don't think there's anything they should be alarmed about right here at this point right now. But definitely if it was one here, it could be one somewhere else.